after Hurricane Katrina tore through the city, a lot of people had to decide what to keep and what to throw away. Pictures and clothes and furniture, just about everything. Well, for one local man, uh, he's a musician, and the choice was a little bit different. His 1970s Gibson electric guitar sat in the floodwaters for weeks in his home in St. Bernard, but he kept it, and now 12 years later, it is singing again. Photojournalist Derek Waldrop brings us that story. My name is Ray Lambert. I'm the snare drummer for the Storyville Stompers Brass Band. I started out as an amateur guitarist uh, playing like little garage bands and stuff like that. I finally had a decent summer job one year. Back in the late 60s, well, 69, 70, something like that. And I said, I'm going to buy myself a good left-handed guitar. So I busted my behind working a construction job all summer long to save up enough money to buy this thing. And it became my cherished possession after that. You know? yeah, so it's like one day you're sitting fat, the next day you, you don't know what's going on anymore. The water came up, my house was raised about a foot and a half off the ground, and the water line was like seven foot up in the house. I mean, utter devastation. As you can see, there's a ton of water damage on this thing. All this rust, all this paint is peeling, everything's just completely corroded. This thing had been sitting uh, in Katrina flood water for a while. I just didn't have the heart to throw it out because I worked so damn long and hard to buy this thing, and I, it still was my first love was the guitars. The good thing this guitar has going for it is that it's not shattered. And so I'm gonna salvage as much of this stuff as I can. We'll look at something like this, and most people would say it's a disaster, and it's a, you know, forget about it. And we look at it and go, oh, neck needs to be put back on, needs to be rewired, you know, needs some fret work. Easy. We love doing this kind of stuff. This is one of the cooler guitars that we've had come through here in a while. It's got battle scars, it's been through hell and high water, and it's lived to tell the tale. It's telling its war stories, man. You know, it's, uh, it's back from the dead, and uh, it's got its own unique you know, look and vibe to it now, and uh, it's not just another SG, it's an SG submersible. Mm -hmm. 